Oh, look at this one here in Boulogne-sur-Mer. It's always the roundabouts, you know? There are probably 13 trees. How many are there? Five, ten. Oh, never mind. Whoa, man. I can't get any closer because it's dripping like hell. Is that a real one? Whoa, the capstone. The obelisk, symbol of the pharaonic domination. Oh, this is magnificent. Well, you know, what more to say? So, uh, I don't want my camera to get all wet, you know, so... Yeah, from the other side in Boulogne-sur-Mer. Bad weather. Freemasons. That's the sea. This is the pharaonic sun bark. Now, they have some pyramids here. Oh, the weather is real bad. Another one in uh, Boulogne. So, this is the old city. The rest was bombed in the war in 1944. Because the Allies, by the Allies, because they thought that the uh, the Jerry's were here. Look, the two swings, sphinxes in front. Pharaonic shit. Sunbark. It lives. The European have become the pharaohs through the, uh, the first ride of the Prime Noctus. It's demo right now. Very bad weather. It's hot. Old palm trees here. Like in Egypt. Very bad weather. Not good for my camera. Never mind. Battery is empty. Oh, there's the old town. That's the sun bark. Pharaoh. It's all pharaonic. They rule the world. It's everywhere. Oh, Boulogne is full of it. Look at it. Full of it. Got the pharaohs all over. Oh, look at the the wood. Look at the wood. It's a real boat. Maybe it's an original one. On September the 26th, 1976, the coffin of their ancestor, the pharaoh Ramses the Great, or Ramses the Second, was flown to France, where his pharaonic descendants have total control and landed at Le Bourget Airport in Paris, also called Parisi, or Per Isis, meaning the House of Isis and got full military honors by the presidential Republican Guard all lined up to welcome the 3,000 years old mummified remains of the famous pharaonic ancestor of the Per A Big House royal bloodline. And even President Valéry Giscard d'Estaing was there, himself a full-blooded aristocrat in line with the French King Louis the Fifteenth, and descendant from both par parental sides of further dukes and counts. So this is in Wikipedia. I told you so.
the pharaohs became the European aristocracy or old feudal world order and spread their pharaonic DNA through raping the European women through the prime noctus, first right or droit du seigneur. Or does anyone seriously think that these homegrown pharaohs of their New World Order just deploy their highest form of presidential and military honours to some 3,000 years old dried out body of some pre prehistoric desert ruler from some faraway Middle Eastern desert hills? I mean, who of us understands why they have to receive a pile of flesh and bones mummy by the president and his presidential guard. Well, no one, right? And the mummy can't hear nor see anymore. So the whole show was not for us, as no one understands it. So they're hiding something from us, what we don't know. This was a pharaoh show for insiders and initiates only, saluting their direct ancestor, of our masters, the enemy within, of the aristocracy, on all key positions. And if they pay the highest tribute to a pharaoh mummy, equally to some presidential visit, then all presidents must be pharaohs, just as every US president is a direct descendant of some faraway English king of the worldwide per a aristocracy. They only honour their own and we are their slaves and a load of nobodies to them who believe every damn official lie 9-11 scam or false flag sigh up being told so it stopped raining for a moment so i'll do it again i just went to the uh, tribunal to leave a uh, laissez uh, in french laissez une plainte entre la main du procureur Oh, well, it's behind here, against Switzerland, behind here in the, uh, so, yeah, so there's my gear. They didn't want to let me in enter with all my gear, you know, so they made a fuss, you know, I said, I'm, I'm not going to leave my gear, you know, with all that total control shit, you know. So there's another pyramid, and here's a big pyramid here, with some sphinx. So here it says it's the uh, solar ship. Here it says in French and here in English the solar ship of Keops. They rebuild it. I told you the French are quite uh, an industrious people. You know? Don't underestimate them. Uh, Pharaohs are here, right? And due to the uh, prime noctus or the first right, there's uh, most of the Europeans that have the uh, the pharaonic genetics or DNA. That's how I, how the aristocracy did it, and they were the pharaohs. Boulogne-sur-Mer. Sphinx, the other Sphinx.
Fantastic, one of the dozen rain for minutes here.